The Black Fang Guild had not survived and become one of the most influential thieves' guilds across Ashan by being careless. Fang Bay was sealed from prying eyes and the curious by an elaborate camouflage system. A series of obelisks held an illusion spell, and only by visiting each would the way be revealed. Malwen was quiet as they traveled, lost in her thoughts as was Viron. But while she was somber, he was excited and smiled to himself often. Viron's mind once more swirling at the chaos and bloodshed to come. smiles on us. At least my allies see the bigger picture and what is to be gained by eliminating this blight that troubles us. Again, I apologize for my impetuousness. No, no. I see it now clearly. The voice of Erebos speaks to me. It was all part of the plan. You were guided by Erebos's hand. Foolishly, I did not see it at the time. I do not understand. Don't you see we've been guided to this point? With the aid of our friends in the Black Fang Guild, we will remove the heads from all our enemies at once. And such a simple ruse. The thieves will plant rumors of demon worship and they will come running, eager to prove their worth in front of the threat of chaos. And one by one, the noose will close about their necks.
bags as I put them in your tent. It is a tincture of Banshee's tears, is it not? Yes, and what of it? You should not have been prying, Malwyn. We have been friends for how long? But of late, what do you mean to do with this? Do? Why, I already do. A drop in my tea sets me right for the day. Plus, I will never fall victim to my own schemes if someone is feeling vindictively ironic. But the side effects of the tear, Byron. Some of the men are already talking. That way lies madness. Nonsense for the feeble-minded, maybe. But I am guided by the will of Erebos himself. I do not need to be questioned, rather obeyed. Remember, we would not be here if that had happened. I feel Erebos within guiding my hand, as if we are one. One? Yes. We are one. with your kind. No forethought. Selfish, nihilistic egotists. I would have destroyed them from the inside. Your idiotic plan of demon worshippers now has them investigating everyone. How sweet it would have been to rot the apple from within. Now you will pay for your meddling with your lives.
think I fear you. You are nothing. If I fall here, I know my life's work has been justified. For chaos must be faced and judged according to Asha's sacred law. But no, even Sandro could not end me. I do my duty, but I tell you, it makes my heart glad with each of your fellows' bodies I step over. You are a disease that needs to be exterminated. is the hand of Erebus. All our enemies fall before us as wheat under the harvester's scythe. Fireon, I do not feel you are well. Perhaps you should allow me to lead this charge. I will deal in person with the one you let get away. We wouldn't want the past to repeat itself. I intend to create history this day. Shape it with my hands. For Erebos and I are united in purpose and judgment. Byron, please, as a friend, stay your hand this day. What need I of friends when I walk with the gods? I shall be as a shadow in the dark and slice like cold steel. For Erebos lives within me.
Sorry, I cannot let you do this. Do what? Forge a destiny for our people? You have left our people at each other's throats. Yes, to make them stronger. The weak will perish, true, but what specimens will survive? There is chaos and there is death. You are not seeding the fields, you are burning them down! And what a majestic sight it is. We should be dancing amongst those flames. I am sorry there is much wrong with this world and I will continue to fight. But you have come as a mad dog with no rhyme, reason or sanctity. Sanctity? You speak as these fools. I am the truth. I speak the words of Erebos and I am the way. No, you have lost your way. Whether before or after the tears, it is not clear to me. Oh, but it is clear to me, traitor. You want the glory yourself. You want to hear the words of Erebos. You are filled with envy. Do not fear anymore, for I will open you up and let the bitterness pour out upon the steps. You have become what you have hated. A believer in a single truth when there is none. Truth is the feel of cold steel in your heart. For only then will honesty find you. You quote Erebos as if you own the words. I command the blades and with them I will put you all to the sword. You will try. Succeed, for destiny is on my side. he may have had swept away by tides of blood and battle. Friends and foes alike lay at his feet, but he did not care. By whatever fortune smiled on him, Archbishop Wilhelm once more escaped with his life, but the alliance was no more. For all the fervor gripping him, Viron knew it was time to withdraw into the abyss once more. There have been rumors and tales of the blades abroad as cell swords and agitators. If they are here now, someone has paid them handsomely for their services. And it would be wise for all to check the shadows before they retire. Or they may sleep longer than they intended. Are you suggesting I stoop to their levels? No. I am suggesting everything you hear might not be what it proclaims. Kente is already confused about what is true here. Kente is correct. Even within this chamber, personal feelings and biases influence our tales. Even you? Of course. It does not mean it is malicious. Just that every individual is swayed by their own beliefs and perception of events. That is most apparent to me. 